Colossim, Colossians 4. Masters, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. Continue in prayer, and watch in the same with thanksgiving. With all praying also for us, that Yahweh would open unto us a door of utterance, to speak the mystery of Hamashiach, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it manifest, as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. All my state shall Tychius declare unto you, which is a beloved brother, and a faithful minister, and fellow servant in Yahweh, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that he might know your estate, and comfort your hearts with Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you. They shall make known unto you all things which are done here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, salutes you, and Marcus, sister's son, to Barnava, touching whom ye received commandments. If he come unto you, receive him. And Yahshua, which is called Yachtach, who are of the circumcision, these only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of Yahweh, which have been a comfort unto me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Yahusha, Hamashiach, salutes you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of Yahweh. For I bear him record that he has a great zeal for you, and them that are in Laodicea, and them in Herapolis, Lucas, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea, and Nymphus, and the called-out assembly which is in his house. And when this affair is read among you, cause that it be read also in the assembly of the Laodiceans, and that ye likewise read the Sefer from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which you have received in Yahuwah, that you fulfill it. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen.